let's say we came across this question in the jam exam how do we solve it it is very easy now let's solve together the question says what process would coal undergo to give coal gas quota ammoniacal liquor and lastly coke now this question is very easy first of all we have to know the topic to which this question is from and from the look of things this particular question is from the topic in chemistry called carbon and its allotrope remember carbon is an element specifically a non-metal and carbon exists in different allotropic form and we have two major allotropic forms of carbon which include the crystalline allotropes of carbon and also the amorphous allotropes of carbon now this coal basically which is an allotropic form of carbon belongs to the amorphous allotropic form of carbon so what are the crystalline allotropic form of carbon they are diamond and also graphite but in this question we'll be focusing on coal coal is an amorphous allotrope of carbon now what they are not saying is this what process would coal which is an amorphous allotrope of carbon undergo to give all of this product now the process is regarded to be called destructive distillation of coal this is the answer to the question okay i'm going to explain properly now this process which is called destructive distillation of coal means burning coal which you are seeing now in the absence of air now destructive distillation of coal can also be called dry distillation of coal if we don't call it that we simply call it carbonization of coal now what are the products they are all listed here you can see the first called coal gas the other quarter the next ammoniacal liquor and lastly coke now all of these products have their specific uses like for instance looking at coal gas coal gas is very very important in making industrial fuels okay whereby quarter is very important in road making and also roof mendings whereby ammoniacal liquor is very important in making fertilizers whereby lastly for coke coke is very important in making fuel gases these fuel gases they are three major and they are so guys i believe now the concept to how this answer was gotten is clear now so if you find this video lesson helpful do well to click on the follow button if you're watching this video on tiktok but if you are watching on YouTube, do well to click on the subscribe button and also like this video and also share with your friends. Thanks for watching. Just a month ago, I organized the first edition of the online chemistry intensive class lesson where I taught so many jam aspirants the rudiments in this subject called chemistry, specifically preparing for the jam exam. And also, I gave them tips on how they can actually score very high in the jam chemistry exam by teaching them topics that are very, very important for the jam exam. These topics are inevitable, and that was what we focused on in the first edition of the online chemistry intensive class lesson the first edition of the online chemistry intensive class lesson was so much impactful due to the pattern and method i used during the class lesson i made complex topics in chemistry so much very easy like the topics stoichiometry organic chemistry and other chemistry related topics okay i made those topics very easy with the pattern and also the methods i use for the class so i believe you can see the testimonials on the screen i believe you watching me now can attest to the fact that my video lessons here on youtube and also on tiktok are very very explicit and easy to understand now if you are a jump as parent or your parents who have kids preparing to write the jam examination here is the good news due to popular demand i'll be organizing the second edition 
of this intensive class lesson where i'll be teaching those topics in chemistry that are inevitable in the jam exam ranging from the physical aspect of chemistry that's physical chemistry like stoichiometry electrolysis radioactivity and so on and also i'll be teaching organic chemistry teaching you the rudiments of that aspect of chemistry and also how you can be able to name organic compounds when you see them and also i'll be focusing on metals and non metals house now this is a class lesson you cannot afford to miss now to be part of this intensive chemistry class lesson do well to direct message me via the number you are seeing on the screen because if you direct message me here on tiktok i might not be able to see your message and respond to your message so direct message me via the number you are seeing on the screen so you can be able to register for this intensive class lesson <music> 